Why well, hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Legacy of Cain Soul Reaver. I'm meeting you today at near Melkaya's lair because we missed two, no, no, three things here. Yeah, three entire things. I'm first gonna go for the thing that I said I wouldn't go for. Magic power. Right across the lake. We need this... Uh, did you just... He pretended there was water there. Huh. Well, shoddy programming is a thing. Anyway, come here over to that thing. And stab it a little with a soul reaver. Yeah, how you're supposed to find this, I don't know. But it certainly exists. Oh yeah. And the door as well. That scared me a little because it didn't do a whole lot of sound effects. I was buried that I might have broken a thing. Now I int fully intend to end the item collection within this very episode. So let's get a move on. We still need to pick up one health power up and one what's it called magic spell now if we go through this tunnel over here this is mostly just the way back in case you fall into the water over here which is behind that climby thing um yeah this is essentially directly before that huge hall with the machines in Melkaya's lair. Anyway, with that we have all of the life power-ups. And if you go over here, we could have gotten this right when we got out of Melkaya's lair. Except I didn't, for reasons unknown. There's a statue here. And... Monoliths. And what do we do with monoliths? Well, we do what we always do with monoliths. We topple them over in hopes of things. What have you done with my obelisks? I hate you. Take this death laser. <laughs> no, this is in fact the level 1 magic spell. I guess it would have been nice to have. But no. So, with that, we only need two more things. Um, you know what, I think I need to show off a couple magic spells here. Now, level 1 magic spell makes boom a little. Nothing really special. Um, I don't think I've shown this one off yet. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna need to go back to the teleporter. Because our next goal is at Raciel's place of all things because I just did the same thing I pretty much always do when playing this game. I swim right past the thing. Level 5 spell. It's a thing. 
The level 5 spell being pretty much in the same place as the Fire Reaver, by the way. <clears throat> so yeah, kind of embarrassing that I didn't get that one when I was in the area. But oh well. Um... Raziel's place, Raziel's, Raziel's place. So, going up here, we need to find the place where we came out on the way of that place which connects um, the abbey and Gracias. Homely home. That one. Now when I came through here I didn't notice it and that's what always happens. I never notice these things. Um, there should be yeah, that way, that dark entrance way is where we came from. It's the way to the abbey. And then we turned left. This time, let's go straight into this hole. Which looks oh so pleasant. And with that, we are at the fire ruins. You know what? While I'm here, I might as well go down here, grab a stick from underwater, because I want to prove that it's entirely possible to um, do this puzzle, get this magic, without the fire reaver. It should work by all means, but walkthroughs like uh, enjoy saying, "Hey, you need the fire reaver for this," and that's just not true. Oh, are you mad that I killed your buddy a little? Here, have a sorry stick. <laughs> now in this room. There's a big door over there. Once I flip this switch right in front of me, that switch, it'll open. However, it will close again right quick. So what we need to do is quickly go to the spectral realm and through the door. It's a good idea to go this way first because you will bite yourself in a bad place <laughs> if you don't that switch however will open this door permanently nice over there we also have a statue it looks kind of fiery so let's see if we can get him some fire fortunately we have a red stick I am sure this will come in handy. Who doesn't like bad sticks? You like a bad stick? <laughs> in this room now, we have a lit fireplace. Which seems kind of useful. Unfortunately, it's kind of out of reach. And I always read that text behind the thing as gothic. Like the game series, which I might consider LPing someday, but that would be a really big project. I don't know if I'm up for it. So, throw the stick up there, hope it landed correctly. And then run from the rave. Fortunately, Wraiths have a problem going up verticals. They are really slow, like. And so it's kind of easy to outrun them here. Also, yay! I got a stick. But you know what? Just in case, I'm gonna get a Fire Reaver as well. 
just if this doesn't work as I want it to. Yay! And we lit the wet stick on fire. How that, however that works. <laughs> But yeah, the game pretty much gives you the torch you need there. So you shouldn't be needing the fire. Hey, 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 hey. What? Uh, dude. So, going over here. We need to light that statue over there on fire, or rather the bowl he is holding. And the torch just does the trick. He doesn't seem too happy about that, but he still gives us what we want. The fire spell. Final spell in the game. And almost the final power-up as well. We are still missing one magic power-up. Unless I calculated it wrong, somewhere down the line. The thing is, I seem to remember that there's another magic power-up in the final dungeon. Yay, fire spell. Ain't that a thing. So you can stay there, Torch. And I'm gonna go ahead and... Um, well, there are one or two more things I could do. The first being going to Zephon's place one more time, where the last power-up is. Which, okay, I'm gonna get it, why not? I have time in the video. I will, however, edit out some of the trip there. So, see you in a sec. Alright, I guess this is as good a place as any. I'm back at Zephon's Cathedral. I already climbed the outer bit and we are at the huge hole. Now, I don't want to go down the hole this time, but I forgot something here that we could have gotten earlier. And it's if we fall down, turn around, and float up a little. Right over there. Technically, you are supposed to climb the wall there, but you don't really need to. Now, here, somewhere al al around here should be a secret passage that's hardly visible. And yeah, technically, you don't need to climb, but... You need to be able to shoot this in order to get this final power-up in the game. Oh yeah. So now, there's one more thing I could show you. I can promise you that it's still there. What I'm talking about is... Um, a glitched out door. And the quickest way out of Zephon's place really is doing this. <laughs> but yeah, there's a glitched out door. Feel free to turn off the video now. There ain't gonna be anything very interesting. I just ran across this when I um, was looking for the things. Now the glitched out door is over here at... I almost want to say Turel's place, but it's actually Duma. Turel, as I said many a time before, isn't in this game for reasons. He's just indisposed, not available for reasons. But I'm sure we will meet him again. Oh well. But yeah, the glitched out door. Remember when I said that there might have been... That I remember there being a, um, a magic power-up in this place? Well... That's exactly where I'm going, because... 
I broke the doors when I saved and exited out of that room. <laughs> it's a neat little glitch, but it kind of breaks things badly. <laughs> Oh yeah. Sup guys, how's it going? I just need to go around a little bit for the portal and then over to the snowy thing. Now I really hope this door is still glitched because it's kind of funny. Now this door isn't supposed to be open because I didn't leave it open. So the game opened it for me. Now that door works fine. That door works fine. And that door looks repaired as well. Well. Oh, it's working fine again. That's just too bad. When I tried it yesterday, the doors were stuck um, on the other side and wouldn't open. What I mean is the two parts of the doors were switched. The right wing was on the left side and the left on the right side. And they'd slide into each other and block the door again. Also, that door remained open, open indefinitely. Too bad I couldn't show that off. But yeah, next time on Let's Play Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver, we will um, enter Kane's dungeon and face him for the final time. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. This is Legion, and fare thee well.